Welcome to my YouTube channel AeroVision Info. In today's video, we're diving deep into one of the most talked about commercial aircraft of the decade of the 2025 Comac C919. This Chinese-made narrow-body jet is more than just a new player in the skies it's a symbol of China's aviation ambitions and a challenge to the long-standing duopoly of Boeing and Airbus. So buckle up as we explore the design, performance, history and global implications of the C919. The Comac C919 is a narrow-body twin-engine airliner developed by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or Comac, intended as a direct competitor to the Boeing 737 MAX and the Airbus A320neo. The C919 represents China's first serious attempt to break into the global passenger jet market. Development of the aircraft started back in 2008, and after many delays, it achieved type certification in 2022. The first commercial flight took place in 2023 with China Eastern Airlines, and since then, momentum has been gradually building. By 2025, the C919 has entered regular service with several Chinese carriers and is beginning to attract interest from abroad, especially from countries looking to diversify their aviation suppliers. So what makes this aircraft unique, and what does it offer to airlines and passengers? Let's begin with the design. The C919 features a standard single aisle configuration with six abreast seating. It can carry between 158 to 174 passengers, depending on the layout, and has a range of up to 5,555 kilometers in its extended range variant. That puts it squarely in the same category as its western rivals. The airframe is made primarily of aluminium alloys, although composites are used in the tail and wing structures. While not as advanced in material use as the A320neo or 737 MAX, it's a solid and conventional design that prioritizes reliability and manufacturability. Powering the C919 is the CFM International Leap 1C engine, a variant of the same Leap family used in the 737 MAX and A320neo. CFM, a joint venture between Javiation and Safran aircraft engines, provides the engine. But China is also developing its own power plant to the AKCJ 1000 day. While still undergoing testing, this Chinese built engine could be a game changer for Comac, giving the C919 a fully domestic supply chain in the future. Inside the cabin, passengers can expect a clean, modern design. The aircraft offers larger windows, improved overhead bins and a quieter flight experience thanks to efficient engines and advanced aerodynamics. Comac has worked closely with interior design firms to ensure that the C919 meets international comfort standards, with features like mood lighting and customizable seating layouts. For airlines, the cabin flexibility allows them to tailor the aircraft for low-cost or full-service operations. From a performance perspective, the C919 offers comparable fuel efficiency to its western counterparts, thanks to the Leap 1C engines and aerodynamic optimizations. However, some analysts suggest that it still lags slightly behind in terms of operating cost per seat and overall dispatch reliability. That said, Comac continues to improve the aircraft with each production block and the 2025 version shows noticeable refinements in avionics and flight systems integration. Safety is always a top concern, and Comac has made significant strides in meeting international certification standards. The C919 was certified by the Civil Aviation Administration of China CARC, and is working toward validation with the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. ESA. FAR certification in the US remains a longer-term goal, and geopolitical tensions could impact that process. Still, achieving even partial international certification would be a huge milestone and open up more export opportunities. Speaking of exports, let's talk about market potential. As of 2025, Comac has secured over 1,200 orders and options for the C919 
the majority from Chinese airlines and leasing companies. State-owned carriers like China Eastern, China Southern, and Air China have been early adopters, while private airlines and regional carriers are gradually joining the list. Interest is also growing from countries in Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East are markets that are eager for alternatives to Airbus and Boeing. The C-919 is also a geopolitical statement. China wants to reduce its reliance on Western aerospace technology, and the C-919 is a major step toward this goal. It's not just about selling planes or it's about building a domestic aerospace ecosystem. Companies across China are involved in the production of everything from avionics and materials to training simulators and maintenance systems. The ripple effect across the Chinese economy is significant, but challenges remain. Boeing and Airbus benefit from decades of global support infrastructure, including maintenance networks, pilot training programs, and leasing flexibility. Comac is still developing these ecosystems. For the C-919 to succeed internationally, Comac will need to build a reliable global support network, ensure spare parts availability, and train technicians around the world. In addition, political hurdles cannot be ignored. Exporting advanced aircraft technology involves complex international regulations, and some countries may hesitate to certify or purchase the C-919 due to diplomatic pressures. Nonetheless, China's Belt and Road Initiative and close economic ties with many developing nations could provide a pathway for wider adoption. What does the future hold for the C-919? By 2030, Comac hopes to ramp up production to 150 aircraft per year. This would still be far behind Airbus and Boeing, but enough to gain a solid foothold in the market. There's also talk of new variants or a stretched version for higher capacity, and possibly even a freighter. Comac's long-term goal is to become a third pillar in the global aviation market, alongside Airbus and Boeing. In summary, the 2025 Comac C919 is more than just new airplane it's a signal of China's ambitions to compete on the world stage in high-tech industries. While it may take years to match the scale and trust earned by Western manufacturers, the C919 is a bold first step. With continued improvements in performance, support infrastructure, and international cooperation, this aircraft could become a major player in the future of commercial aviation. Thanks for watching today's in-depth look at the Comac C919. If you found this video informative, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to AeroVision Info for more aviation insights, aircraft reviews, and the latest in aerospace technology. Until next time, fly safe and keep your eyes on the skies.